This lesson is on finding the area of a parallelogram. So here's a parallelogram, and we already know from our work with rectangles that if we can count the squares on a figure, we can find the measurement of the surface of that figure measured in square units. And this parallelogram is been, has been divided, and there are squares in it, but there are also squares that are incomplete. So I can't really count the squares on this parallelogram as it is. So I'm going to bring in another parallelogram exactly like it. But this parallelogram is divided into two parts. So I just want to confirm with you that these two parallelograms are exactly the same. And then I'll use this parallelogram to find its area. So first of all, let's look at the lines on the parallelogram that we can identify. This is the base of the parallelogram, and I'm going to label it B for base. And the height of the parallelogram is any one of these vertical lines. So I'll put my label H for height right here. What I've done is made this parallelogram into a rectangle. And when it's a rectangle, all the squares within it are complete. So I can count or multiply to find the surface area of this rectangle. But this rectangle used to be a parallelogram. Well, how do the lines on the rectangle compare to the lines on the parallelogram they came from? Well, let's see. This labeled the base of the parallelogram. Now it labels the base of the rectangle. They're exactly the same. And this labeled the height of the parallelogram, and now it labels the height of the rectangle. So they're exactly the same. So if I multiply the base of the parallelogram times the height of the parallelogram, it would be the same as if I had multiplied the base of the rectangle times the height of the rectangle. And that, I know, can give me the measurement of the surface area of the figure, in this case, the parallelogram, in square units. So base times height equals area. And just one more thing. Remember, I showed you that we no longer needed to use the x as a representation of the a multiplication sign, we could use this dot, which we understand now means times. Well, we can simplify this even further by just putting these two variables together. When mathematicians and students see two variables right next to each other with no symbol between them, that says multiplication. So b h means b times h. And that gives us the formula for finding the area of a parallelogram. <laughs>